There's a blue pigment in spirulina called phycocyanin, P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-N-A-N. This pigment isn't found anywhere else in the universe. Just by algae. And it's an antioxidant, and it has powerful uh, properties like it kills, it's proven to kill cancer cells. And it, I can walk you through the pathway. It ejects what's called the cytochrome C molecule, which triggers caspases, which triggers apoptosis. And cancer cells cannot go through apoptosis. And just as an example, when you have a healthy cell, the blue pigment in spirulina, called phycocyanin, is a helper cell in the electron transport chain. I didn't mention these earlier. There's two helper cells. One's called CoQ10, and the other one is called cytochrome C. In a healthy cell, the blue pigment in spirulina can detect that it's a healthy cell. And what it does, it speeds up the electrons moving across the electron train. It's like having a Ferrari. Vroom. This is one of the reasons why spirulina gives you energy, and chlorella does not, because it speeds up that cytochrome C molecule, mm. the blue pigment. However, in a senescent cell or a cancer cell, the phycocyan can detect that, and instead of speeding up the cytochrome C molecule, it ejects it, which triggers something called caspases, which triggers this thing called apoptosis, which is cell death. And this is incredible. And chemotherapy companies are using phycocyanin in their cancer treatments because then they can tell if the cancer is being killed, how they measure the amount of cytochrome C in your serum, in your blood serum. And if it's there, it knows that 